my short torso friends out there, you all have been requesting who are some short torso celebrities, short torso influencers, where can we look to find our body type? Today, I wanted to talk about some of the style lessons that I've learned from Meghan Markle because she's a fellow short torso friend like me and we stand our short torso friends. So we are here to celebrate her style and why some of these looks look so good on her and how if you also have a short torso body type like me, how these can translate to you too. Most of these pictures are from her royal life, but I feel like there was a lot I could talk about. So I could make a part two, but we will see if that is requested. Let me know in the comments below and let's get started. One article of clothing that Meghan Markle made very popular are boat necks. And what I really love about boat necks is that it lengthens your torso upwards instead of trying to lower it lengthen it downwards. But you know, we even saw her wedding dress being a boat neck dress. So by having more fabric that comes up, it's giving a longer look to her torso. And by having a boat neck, we're actually creating some space and length in her neck, which sometimes can look on the shorter side. But boat necks, I feel like look great on everyone because they really help our shorter neck friends. But also if you have a longer neck, they work for boat boat necks too. But she seems to have a pretty proportionate neck, maybe slightly short, but like, Let's not get too nitpicky here. Now, unfortunately, when I was doing some research to just see all the different outfits she's worn throughout the years, I did stumble upon an article that criticized her for wearing a bunch of boat necks. And to be honest, I think that's super unfair because if you find something that works for you, you should be able to wear it, even if it is in different colors or even the same color, if you really like that color, who cares? If it's something that she loves and it's something that she feels comfortable in in her body, then she should be able to wear it without having a bunch of criticism. And I think that is the only comment I'm going to be making about tabloids and articles I've seen written about her style because I feel like I could go on and on, but we are here to celebrate her style. Now I think partially a little bit of a double-edged sword with a lot of the styles and looks that we see Megan wearing is that because in her royal life she needed to dress more conservatively or she was told to dress more conservatively. So we do see higher necks on her, but that does such a good look on the rest of her torso. I don't see that as much with Kate Middleton just because she has a longer torso. So she can maybe get away with a little bit of a V-neck more and it doesn't immediately like get into her chest and, and maybe not be within the royal family guidelines. But just like we saw her wedding dress being a boat neck dress, we also saw her second wedding dress being a high neck dress. And I think that's because those are the two necklines that work for her really well. They really work on a short torso body type by just elongating, again, that section because you can't always go down. Like that's where your legs start. You can't always lengthen your torso at the bottom. Sometimes you have to lengthen it at the top and high necks, boat necks are really great ways to do that. I see a lot of the time when she chooses to wear high necks and maybe halters, you see her putting her hair up a lot, which again could just be more conservative that she's going to a lot of evening events where having your hair up maybe is more natural, but there's definitely great times where she's worn it down too. In general, if you are on the shorter neck side and you want to do a high neck, you probably will want to put your hair up just so that you're not crowding your neck too much, which is why she can pull off both looks really well. But it's just something to keep in mind that if you do tend to be on the shorter neck side, which sometimes it looks like in certain outfits, she might have a shorter neck, then having your hair up can just help add some space and length to your neck while still getting that lengthening effect on your torso. A few years ago, I believe this was before she entered royal life or was even dating Harry. She wore this silver dress and while I love the dress and she looks beautiful, I know that as a short torso person myself, I would not gravitate towards this dress as something that I would feel super comfortable in just because of that really deep V and how it seems to just kind of come right point right at my hips, which would come up higher than the dress was typically designed to look. So I would want something that maybe comes up a little higher or actually came out a little bit wider on my shoulders. Megan also wears a lot of one color with a pop of color on the shoe. So she goes for those monochrome looks, which look great just in general on anyone, but also for short torsos because it's literally connecting your upper half with your bottom bottom half with the same color. So you're getting that lengthening effect. Your eye isn't being stopped by any lines or contrast and you're able to just move down and then you get to the shoes and something I really love is having a pop of shoe, having a contrast between your shoe and your leg. And it actually will make your legs look a little bit shorter, 
which some people don't like, but as a long legged person myself, I like my legs to look more proportioned with the rest of my body. So by having a different color shoe, you're actually creating a little bit of emphasis on your foot, which is then cutting into your leg, which is then making your leg look more proportionate to the upper half and rest of your body. When if you had chosen a shoe in the same color, it could just make you look like one long block of one color, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It can do the same effect. But if you're wearing a skirt or a dress, it can help keep your legs from looking too long and overwhelming your body. We saw it sometimes in really easy ways where it's, she was wearing a dress with a different color shoe or maybe a dress and a coat with a different color shoe or maybe the shoe matched part of the dress. But we also saw her wearing suits with a different color shoe or just going out and wearing black jeans and a black coat and then having a white sneaker with that. These are all really classic, easy looks and they are really great staples to have in your wardrobe if you also are a short torso person. Now we've also seen kind of the monochromatic having the same kind of outfit color and then the shoe in a similar but different color. So like a light blue dress and a dark blue shoe. That also does the same effect and it's kind of the best of both worlds. One area that my short torso friends ask for a lot of help on are belts is belts. The category is belts. We're gonna talk about belts and how Megan wears belts. You can see in this picture right here that a wide belt for her is actually protruding out from her hip bones or the bottom of it, her hip bones are poking out and that is a classic short torso problem. We short torso people counter that so many times that if you're wearing a waist belt, oftentimes it will just completely hide your waist because you don't have that much room for a waist between your rib cage and your hip bones. And then that belt just makes your your hips pop out. You can see in this dress, there's a couple things that work well for this that make it not so obvious. And so only if you're looking for it, will you notice that her hips are just poking right out underneath that uh, waist belt. So one thing that is happening here is there is a slight A-line. So the dress is already coming out from her waist. So it's not as big of a deal than if it were to be a pencil skirt dress. So we have that bit of a flowiness. It's again, getting camouflaged. The other part for belts for her is that the belt is the same color as the dress. So from far away, you can't really tell that she's wearing a belt. So again, we're getting just an illusion. It's cinching in her waist, but we're getting that A-line out from the same time. And then the third is that that belt is a softer belt. It's not a hard leather belt where you have no forgiveness and it's just going to emphasize the, the area even more. And it's not so much like an area like, oh, her hips are sticking out from under her belt. Not at all. It's just kind of uncomfortable to have a belt constantly hitting into your hip bones. And I also love the cap sleeve on this dress to balance out that V-neck too, love that. But a lot of the time we see her wearing soft fabric belts in the same color as the rest of her dress. So it's just a belt that was intended to be worn with the dress. It's literally the same fabric, so it's soft, so it's a lot easier to move to the right part of your waist where you want it, but it's also the same color, so we're not getting a huge amount of contrast or a lot of your eye being drawn to it particularly. It just looks nice as a whole, but it's not a hard, fast rule for her. Again, these are just more guidelines. I never tell you what you can and can't wear and just tell you what's easy or maybe not as easy to wear. And so here she is wearing wearing a beautiful dress. I love this outfit, but it is a skinny leather belt. So she has less flexibility on where it's hitting on her waist and how that's playing with her hips. But because it's really skinny, it works. And we have this beautiful cape, this high neck cape that is stunning and it just draws the eye up. And so the belt does tend to fade away even though it is high contrast. So it just all looks really nicely put together. And in my opinion, helps anchor her shoes to the belt with the cape part of the rest of the dress. It's, it's a really nice stylistic approach that I really like. So one thing that can be really tricky for short torsos to wear are high contrast top and bottom. So for example, if you were to wear a white top with black pants, that can be really tricky because you're giving yourself the highest contrast line at an area that can either 
work with your proportions or feel like they're highlighting your proportions. For example, there's this outfit that Megan wore that I didn't feel like played to her best proportions. Now, again, it's a cute outfit. It looks great on her. She looks beautiful. That has nothing to do with it. We're just talking about easy versus maybe a little bit challenging. And what's challenging about this is that the white part, which is what your eye is going to be drawn to as the lighter color, that is very small in comparison to her already long legs. And with that, she has she has a longer black pant with a black shoe. So her legs look really long. Her top part looks even more rectangular and rectangular because especially with it being off the shoulder and then also with her hair up as well, we're really elongating her neck, which I'm sure she really loves. But I know if it were me wearing this outfit, I would feel like my short torso is even shorter. But in general, what we have seen her wear since is when she's wearing high contrast top versus bottoms, or if she's wearing a high rise, she tends to choose ankle pants. Not always, I have exceptions and we will get into that. But in general, if she's wearing black pants with a white top, then generally she's wearing them with ankle pants. Now, sometimes we see her tucking that in. Sometimes we see her wearing a coat over it. Now that is a really great way to hide a high rise, um, which we can get into later. One way you can lengthen that is to add that lighter contrast further down, whether that's through a jacket or if that's with a sweater, with a turtleneck or a boat neck, however you want to lengthen that look and just keeping that black pant shorter so that you can really see her foot and her shoe and that's taking up more of her leg. Again, we're playing with proportions and it's not always about lengthening your torso downwards. Sometimes we lengthen it up and sometimes we bring the bottom of our leg up. Now, I also understand that when a lot of these pictures were taken, ankle pants were a lot more commonly found than wide leg pants. If she's wearing a wide leg pant, the rest of her outfit is usually kind of all the same color and low contrast. So if she's wearing wide leg black pants, then she's matching that with her shoes and her jackets and her tops. And it's just creating that really nice monochromatic look. So everything is just looking all in one. It's all lengthened and it's all well proportioned versus when you get into that trickier scenario, Scenario of having that higher contrast, that is when she plays more with proportions and using those ankle pants. So on a similar note, something that is difficult for short torso people to pull off are high rise pants because the high rise really creeps up into our waist and rib cage and we don't have a lot of space for those. So when Megan is wearing high rise for her, you see her wearing a lot of either monochromatic looks, again, low contrast, so that it all kind of blends in together, or you see her wearing a lot of collared pieces, so collared shirts or blouses. The great thing about collars is that, again, we're lengthening upwards. We're adding some fabric around the neck so that the the torso looks longer this way. I feel like when you pull up casual looks for Megan, she's wearing a lot of button down shirts with collars or shirt dresses, and those work really well for that same reason without maybe feeling as formal as a halter or a boat neck dress or neckline. So here on this channel, we love great short torso style. And if you do too, make sure you join us by liking this video, subscribing, and leave a comment down below letting me know if you like this video. Do you want a part two of Meghan Markle style? Do you want me to do more short torso celebrities? Let me know. And I'm gonna leave my short torso playlist right here for you to watch if you haven't watched it already. There's a lot of videos in it. So short torso friends, come join us. I'll see you over there.